Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I am Louise and I'm interested in many subjects such as knowing cultures, having a better understanding of agricultural systems, how I can have a more sustainable way of life. And let's be honest, that last one is not going to be easy because like all of us, I am also a consumer, but I'm willing to learn how I can take better decisions to live with life and not against. I will have a special focus on agriculture because this is what I study. Actually, I am in my last year of my engineering master's degree and my course is Food Processes and Agricultural System for the South and my specialty being called Resources, Agricultural System and Development. Actually, this is a special video because I am switching my channel in English. I'll explain my decision later on. But um, for French speakers only, I will leave subtitles in French. One of the first reasons I started to make videos was because I was interested in having a more sustainable way of life. Also because I wanted to foster some initiatives that I think are good ones. Now that I'm in the my studies, I feel a bit more credible and I think like I got some knowledge on the way and I have more skills. Of course I'm not perfect but I'm willing to go deeper on the subject and to improve. I always feel very anxious regarding consumption and having an impact. It is really hard to have an honest look at the question because it can really quickly feel super overwhelming knowing that we have an impact for each project that we buy. So one of the first things I would ask is which company it is and what's their history with greenwashing. Because today there are a bunch of activists that do a great job warning us on companies that do use greenwashing. And I think just having a, a quick search online it really helps. But regarding social aspects, there are less information, but here are a few questions you can use. What's the social organization of the company? Are the employees well treated? Who gets most of the money? Is the money well distributed? For that last question, it might be super hard to find any information. If you don't, I would suggest just using the previous questions. The other ones should help you make your decision. The second thing is to focus on high value products because at first you don't want to be doing it for all the products you're going to buy. This is just going to be so overwhelming. So I would suggest just start by focusing on high value products, products that you are planning on having on the long run, such as I think clothes are a good start because it's kind of easy to find information about like environmental aspects because it gets like more trendy i think so i think this might be a good start like for instance shoes that you want to keep for a long time or a coat that you want to keep for the long time i would suggest starting by this ones for some products it's definitely harder to find any alternatives for instance i had a fair phone for a long time but i had to change the battery and this is actually what costs the most regarding environmental aspects and also social ones because batteries are one of the component of smartphone that do requires a lot of rare metals they don't come from like nearby it requires a lot of energy and also social aspect because a lot of time there are children that do work so I just have a regular smartphone now not the best and for laptops, I don't have any brands, so if you have any information about this, I am really willing to have a look at it. And so please share it in the comment section, that would be super nice. So the third tip I want to share is to take time and to think about the product you want to buy. Do you really need it? It might sound cliche, but that question is actually super important. Not only it will not increase your environmental impact, but it will also save you tons of money. So usually with high value products, because of course it's more expensive, I also like to take, let's say, a four months decision and sometimes less, sometimes it's more. For instance, I bought a Kindle, but it took me a year to figure out if I really wanted to have this product. So is it perfect regarding environmental aspects? No, of course not, because it does also require metals that are in the battery. But did it change my everyday life? Yeah, because I use it every day. I use it for my studies because I read PDF files and I've stopped reading for a long, long time and it helped me to, to read. So now I read every day and that's super nice. If would have been a lot better if I could just read books. 
that's the choice I made. I would have loved to, to buy it second hand because production, it was requires a larger quantity of energy. So actually to buy it second hand is super nice. But when I tried to, I didn't find any that were nearby. So I just bought a new one, but that would have been the most interesting move. It's really hard not to blame ourselves. This is the first thing I would say, but I decided to have an honest look at what I do and what are my practices. It helps to limit my impact and to compromise to whom I want to be giving money and also to save money. <laughs> so please let me know in the comment section what are your practices and what should change through time. I am super interesting because this is also the path I want to be taking. I am giving some fresh air to this channel regarding subjects I want to talk about and the kind of content I want to create. I want to be as close as what you think or what you need. Please let me know because this is the kind of community I want to have. I hope you have a great day and take care and I see you in the next video.